Cairo did this. What up, YouTube? Thank y'all once again for tuning in. I am the Cairo. Today, I just want to take you guys through the process of how I organize my sound library for my Machina MK3 and also for the uh, Machina Micro. But just want to walk you through the steps because I like the way that we have the uh, visual screens on here. Uh, to look at you know what we're doing and, and kind of scan through the library so gonna walk you guys through that stick around all right so first we got the drums and as you can see there's an image both on the left and the right then we got my horns and these are actually my own uh sounds that i came you know came up with and this is an expansion kit that i actually created um which is inside my lane volume one Here's another one inside my lane volume two. And then the MK3 and the MK1. The only reason that I have these set up is because the Machina uh, actually goes in and, and searches through this library. So instead of having that wave file looking thing, I wanted to just create images. And then we have my orchestra sounds. And then we have samples. And then the Sierra Grove which I'm going to, I skipped over that one because that one only shows up because I made edits to sounds in that library or in that expansion kit. So it automatically comes over to my user group. And then these are my sound effects, which again, these are sounds that I, that I had. Um, I had a bunch of old CDs that had sounds effect, uh, sound effects on them. And I just decided to put them in a uh, folder and then I'm able to search it. Same thing, this is another expansion kit that I created, which is the uh, the Rhythm Volume 1. And then True School and Vintage show up because of the fact that I have uh, sounds from those two uh, expansion kits from um, songs that I created previously. So again, the, the Machina expansion kits only show up because I made edits to sounds in those, li in those kits. I wanna keep saying library for some reason, but that's where I'm at with that. So going to show you guys how I created these um, using Photoshop, actually. So some of you guys know that I'm a graphic designer on the side. So, of course, I can, you know, create things at my leisure. But I'm sure that there are other ways that you can um, import PNG files, which they would have to be to show up on here. But that's where we at on that. So let's go through the steps of how I created it. Okay, so first what I want to do is show you where the folders would be stored for all of your images. I'm on a Mac, so I can't speak on PC, but I'm sure that it's pretty much the same as far as how you get to it. And it's under your native instruments resources. So wherever um, it will be stored on your computer is, is how you'll get there. I would just probably type in a search um, option if you can to get to that um, particular folder. And then they're gonna all be under images. And sorry about that. And they're all here as far as what I have. So, like I said, this is one of the, and I keep on clicking that to change the wording. Hold on a sec. Okay, so what'll be in there is you'll need the MST, which I'm assuming Machina Studio, Machina Studio. And then this is gonna be the, the main one on your screen as far as in the in the user interface and then you're going to need this meta file which you don't change anything but the name and i'll show you why and then you'll need i just call it virtual basic uh basic or visual basic i don't know but these are probably be the ones that'll show up on um I don't even know. I can't even call it. <laughs> I, I, if I tell you something, I'll be lying. So hopefully someone can answer what these two would be for. Uh, but like I say, these are the ones that I know show up for me as far as using the Machina uh, uh, Micro. I'm sorry, Machina MK3. And again, for the Machina Studio, because we have the uh, LCD screens here. So let's come out of that. And then uh, what you'll need to do, let me close this down. I don't need it anymore. So what you'll need to do is have all these files. And the reason that I had them laid out over here for you is so that you can see the dimensions of each once you import into Photoshop. And these are your dimensions here.
And so what I normally do when I do it, I'll create it in, in Photoshop, save it as a P, uh, PNG, and then I'll just put it on my desktop and then highlight each of those. Uh, so would it be one, two, three, four, five? And I'll highlight each of those and then I'll right click and then select to um, create a new folder from the items. And then I'll name it whatever that particular folder is going to be in, let's say, and this is why it's important that the file name has to be the same as whatever folder out of your external kit, um, sorry, external hard drive or, ever, or wherever you have your sound stored is going to be. So as you can see in mine, I have, you know, drums, I have horns, um, but the one we're on right now is sound effects. So let me just open this one up for you. And so these are all the sounds in my, in my sound effects. And then the, the little subfolders that I have for each. All right, so we're gonna come out of that. And so, like I said, this, or sorry, over here, this has to be the same name as whatever your um, expansion kit or your sound library um, routing is gonna be. Very important. It can't be anything different. I, I even try to uh, do it where I'll have this closer in, maybe like without the spacing or maybe have something else there and it does not find it as far as for the visual, um, which uh, visual images which are gonna show up in the system. So let's go real quick over to the Machina software. And so you could see here, all the images appear and I'll just show you how I have them. And those are all my images. And as you can see, it's out of my user group. Okay, and then what I'll do is just kind of, I'm scrolling through with the uh, hardware right now just so you can see how they change. And that's that. All right, so let's jump over to, uh, let me come off of that one because that's not one of the ones I created. Let's just keep it consistent. So now let's go over to Photoshop. And this, this is the one that I created for the uh, orchestra uh, sounds. And so I just created the image images. And as you can see, they're a little bit distorted and, distorted, and that's only because of the, the size of the image. Like if I take it back down to the actual size it'll be, it doesn't have the distortion. And this is how it actually look within the software. But like I said, for the sake of showing you guys how it looks, this is how I want to do it. All right, and I want to just make it large enough so you guys can see it. And so then let's say this file here, what I'll just go in and do is just save as. And like I said, putting it on the desktop is just always easiest um, because you can find them right away. And then you'll just hit save, hit okay. And I'll do two so I can show you how the folder is just created as far as taking the, you know, more than one and uh, creating a new folder from the selected ones. Okay, PNG again, hit save, hit OK. And so this is what I'm talking about as far as selecting multiple files. So you got one here and you got one here. And what you'll do, just go in there and highlight those two and then the new folder option. So new folder with selection. And so you just hit, uh, hit okay. And then create a folder and then you'll name it. So in this case, this one would be called orchestra. Should I happen to want to use it? And then all of these of course would have those images and this would have to be changed to orchestra. And then what I'll next do is like I said, go into dragging this, uh, this folder into that images section of the native instruments resources. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully those of you who want to organize your sound library like I do, like I said, I don't have any, uh, you know, everything just in one folder because I like the option of being able to use the hardware to scroll through everything and, and find out where I'm going, what I'm doing. And, you know, and you could just go into the separate uh, subfolders, et cetera, to find the sounds directly. So hopefully you guys have some type of software that allows you to make the uh, images and then import them. And like I said, the, the, uh, 
the sizes were put up for you as far as the dimensions go so watch the video again if you want to um, write down the dimension sizes but hopefully um you guys will try to do this like i said i'm just a neat freak and i just like things organized so that's one of the reasons that i chose to create these folders if you have any questions please feel free to uh contact me uh make comments on the uh on the channel and i'll respond as far as this video goes and uh you know you guys know that i'm quick to get back especially when you guys just give me props on the videos but of course i answer questions and if need be i'll slide you the number so we can get in contact about it and i can walk you through the process have no problem with uh in doing that that's what i'm here for but other than that Thank you all for tuning in once again. Thank you to my viewers, to my subscribers. The numbers keep coming up and I very much appreciate it. I am the Cairo. Plug in, get connected. We are TMR. I'm out. The Cairo did this.